Students learn numbers don't lie. In Fort Worth ISD, the district says they also don't add up. Teachers are very concerned, our admin are concerned, and all employees are concerned. They have reason to be. The superintendent says cuts are coming this week to budgets and staff. It's very difficult on school districts right now. Michael Inahosa, the former Dallas superintendent, says a combination of pandemic money running out, students transferring to charter schools, and legislators not allocating additional funds has put districts across the state in a pinch. It's happening everywhere and some districts had some reserve but that's like paying your mortgage with a credit card. You can't keep doing that. In Dallas, Superintendent Stephanie Alessalde says the district prepared for this. We've been making these decisions a little bit at a time so that hopefully the the decisions aren't painful. Um, they may be uncomfortable, but I'm hoping to avoid pain. She plans to cut under-enrolled or duplicate programs. DISD won't fill all vacant positions, nor replace all staff who retire this summer. It's much easier to eliminate a position where no person exists than to actually have to go tell someone that we're going to do a layoff. But making the math work in a school district is getting harder. It's definitely what I would say at a crisis moment. In Fort Worth, school trustees met with their lawyers Tuesday. Staff will know by the end of the week if they'll need a new job as the district tries to make its numbers add up. In Dallas, I'm Cole Sullivan.